Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Bumpy here. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Arrow 4K release of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. The good folk over at Arrow have shipped it early, I did actually get it yesterday, but just haven't had a chance to make the video. Okay, Henry uh, is the movie starring John Rucker and directed by John McNaughton. John McNaughton did some other films, The Weird Borrower, uh, Mad Dog and Glory, but I think Robert De Niro, Wild Things which is coming to Arrow very soon, so I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, so Henry is wildly heralded as one of the greatest serial killer movies of all time. Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer presents a bleak and unflinching dive into the mind of a mass murderer. Based on the horrific true-life crimes of Henry Lee Lucas, the harrowing controversial debut feature from John McNaughton returns to the UK in his best-looking release ever in a new 4K restoration supervised by the director himself. Okay, I've never seen this film, but I'm really looking forward to watching it. It looks very grim, very 70s grindhouse. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be one of those emotional ones, I think. So, <laughs> bleak and miserable, just how I like it. All right, then, let's jump straight into this unboxing. Okay, then, so, here it is. Notice glory. It's your spine, the bottom, plain on the top side. So yeah, as you probably already heard, you get two booklets. I think one's more just storyboards, but we'll find out soon enough. Here's the back, the J card. Can have a little look. Okay, we just open him up now. As I was saying in the intro, I can't give a blow-by-blow blow on this movie because it's not one I've seen before. But one I'm definitely looking forward to. Okay, so real nice artwork. We'll just take the J card off. Just sort of a plain design there. You can see some woods if you look closely. So yeah, there's the front. One more time. All right, then, so let's have a little look what we get. Okay, yeah, first to confirm as ever, always a good sturdy box with arrow. All right, top quality, can't fault it. Okay, then, so there's the artwork, same as the um, out of the box. So on the specs, then, brand new 4K restoration from original camera negative, approved by John McNaughton. Says he's in HDR10 presentation, so there's no Dolby Vision on this one. Or no Dolby Atmos, but that's okay. And then disc one has got the feature and extras. And then disc two, which is just a Blu-ray, is just filled with lots of bonus stuff. Okay, then inside, we'll just take these bits out a minute. All right, then, so there's your 4K disc. Nice artwork there with Michael Rucker on. And that's the Blu-ray. Check for reversible art. Yep. Okay, so this is the other cover. With the old school animation of him looking in the mirror. I think I'll probably stick with the new one, i got to be honest. But we'll worry about that later. Okay then, so inside the box, just this card here. The box is Omen. So that's probably a movie coming soon. Can't say I heard of that. And then just an advert for their streaming service. Okay, there's some sort of art card there. I like these are all the art cards. They're not sealed up, actually. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you one by one like that. So, yeah, you can get the sort of gritty grindhouse feel of the movie because it's shot on 16mm. And it's done in like a very re realistic documentary type style, I think. So yeah, very gritty indeed. One of those films you feel like you might need a shower after watching. But I don't mind that. Okay, then we got this poster. As always, the quality is really nice. And I'll stick with some of the ones I've had recently in some of the other packs I bought, but still pretty good. So that's the new artwork. And then it's landscape instead of portrait. And you've got that. Uh, probably when it comes to posters, I prefer that one. But when it comes to cover of the movie, I prefer the other one. 
But yeah, if you're lucky enough to meet Michael Rook and get him to sign this bit of uh, psychedelic nonsense, then yeah, that would look wicked in a frame for dudes. Okay, so happy with that. Then we move on to the two booklets then. So this one's really thick. Again, it's got some sort of gritty, disturbing, like, 70s grind ice feel images all over it. Okay. I'm sure there's a content at the start. Then. Oh, yeah, sorry, there it is, if you want to see it. Okay, so that's really good. Then the other book you got here. Original storyboards. All right, this is cool. Reminds me of those old beanos and dandies you used to get way back in the day. Used to love those. Not many people hear of the beano and the, da and the dandy these days, i got to be fair. All right, yeah, so this is cool as with all, all animation in it. I definitely sit down and have a look at this, but I want to watch the film first. Don't want to get it spoiled by reading the graphic novel or the Viz version. All right then, so that's great. So yeah, overall that's a great set from Avo, and I'm really looking forward to watching it. If you want to stick around, I will just show you the menus on the title screen and flick through the extras. All right then, cheers. Okay, so there's the title screen special features on the first is the 4k audio commentaries scene specific commentaries deleted scenes and outtakes trailer stills gallery original script and then it's just to the film then all right then so i just stick the blu-ray on there and we'll just have a little look what's on there in terms of special features okay this is the blu-ray then straight into the special features Portrait, The Making of Henry, In Defense of Henry, Twisting the Lens, Henry vs. the MPAA, A Visual History. I mean, yeah, this film had loads of um, hard work getting seen in this full uncut version, i got to be honest. Okay, Henry at the BBFC with Stephen Thrower. That could be a good documentary and interviews. All right, then, well, thanks for watching the video. I've been Bumba. I'll catch you soon with another unboxing. Peace out.